Today in Salt Lake City, at least on the bench, we had several inches of snow over the last several days, and of course that meant it's time for sledding and enjoying the weather today. Just barely below freezing. We did see a little sunshine in the afternoon, and it's interesting because the lower valleys didn't see much in the way of snow, but the benches and all oh, the mountains saw tremendous snowfall. Now the snowpack numbers as of today, 61% in the Bear River, 68 in the Weber, and you can see below about 80% in several areas, 80 to 100% the Green River and the Duchesne and the Tooele. Look at Southern Utah, the Southeast, 152% of normal and the Virgin, the Virgin River Basin has 81% of normal. Now this is up 23% since Monday and the statewide average is 90%. So we still need several more storms like this one to get us out of the deficit. Now over the past week, here's what the numbers look like as far as increases in percentage for the different basins. 9% increase in the Bear River. Green River, 9%. The Duchesne, 22%. So a pretty good upslope on the Uinta Mountains. But how about the Southeast? A 53% increase in snowpack and the Virgin River, 63% increase in the snowpack. Now, if you want to see these numbers, we'll put them over on KSL.com for you as well as on uh, 5.3, where you can see the uh, latest weather forecasts on the Live 5 Weather Channel. Here's what the sunset looked like this evening. We saw the blue skies and beautiful weather this evening as compared to what it was like earlier today. And we are going to see some clear skies this evening, and that means temperatures are going to plummet from where they are right now. Right now we're 25 in Vernal, 29 in Cedar City, and this next storm system already producing rain and snow along the coastline. It will move inland overnight and tomorrow, so it looks like we will see considerable clouds and a slight chance for a shower in the mountains. It looks really impressive, but the ridge of high pressure is right over the top of us, so as the weather front moves in, there's actually a split in the jet stream, and we'll see this part move over us on Tuesday, so that's when we'll have a chance for a little bit of snow here, and again on Wednesday, this part of the storm moves into southern Utah Wednesday and Thursday, and uh, yes, you'll see more precipitation across southern Utah at that time as well. With the clearing skies tonight, sub-zero in the basin and not very warm tomorrow. 32 in Moab, 43 Lake Powell, St. George near 50 with the overnight low 28 degrees. Single digits again before the skies turn partly cloudy later tonight. These valleys are going to be downright cold. Cedar City this morning was zero, so you, you kind of get the idea. Now that storm moves in. Tuesday into Wednesday, we'll have a chance for some rain across southern Utah. In the north, I do show a few of those uh, areas of light precipitation, mainly some showers over the mountains, patches of fog tonight, and then a slight chance for a little rain snow Tuesday, periods of snow on Wednesday, an inch or two of accumulation. And again, looks like a week from today, that storm looks impressive. So we're in a pattern shift. We're seeing more precipitation, and that's good news for the snowpack because really we need several more storms like we had this week to get back up to normal in the north. And we do need it and we definitely do need it the skiers love it though oh yeah drivers hate it <laughs> thanks Dan